that must be very exciting. I mean, to be superhero one day and to be regular person another day. <laughs> we shine a spotlight today on banker turned actress Amanda Oro as she talks about her journey into Nollywood and more. Details in this feature. Fast rising Nollywood actress Amanda Oro's character as the mystery girl in Nigeria's first Netflix drama series sequel of The King of Boys, The Return of the King, threw more stronger spotlight on her prominence in the film industry, even when she has acted in several movies. Relax. It's so beautiful. So, where will you want to take me to? Huh? Where would you want to go? <laughs> we have heard what a wife said about her own husband. But what we are not asking is how can a woman stay for three and a half years? without seeing her husband's nakedness. It was during the, the, the COVID um, when, when it was so high and we're all at home and she came up with the idea of doing um, King, of Bo King of Boys Stay at Home Challenge. And I said to myself, I'm not interested, I don't want to do this. Who was that? Um, Kemi Aditiba. So she called for people to come, you know, do a, a scene from the first King of Boys, recreate a scene and put on your page, and then the best people will get selected and then get to be in the film, the next one. So I did not want to do it. I'm like, nah. But like two days to the end of the submission, a friend of mine, Lulu Okonkwo, said, Amanda, do this. Do this challenge, you can't tell what will happen. So I went straight away, did my video with Jay Blaze, and the video was superb. Two days to the end of the submission, and I got selected. And then it was now the time to do the final video. And she said, take it all out. Do your best. And whoever wins, wins. And I went all out, got my friends together, got a camera, got everything together. And I did a production for this challenge. Yes, a production. And I had to learn Russia. Aosa, Yoruba, Igbo, I put everything in the production and it blew people's mind. And that was how I got into King of Voice. If you ask, how will I give you a real power? Or why should I have to ask? Oba. 2018, I went to AFRIF, Africa International Film Festival, to their acting um, training and um, a class of 20 or 21 and it was a five days training and after the training we were opportunity to be selected to go to different countries to learn filmmaking and i wasn't expecting it to be honest and i got selected to go to france that was like one of my biggest biggest achievements as an actor yeah, <laughs> We tell us, see, your dead papa. He dashed all our friends. Two, two thousand. Recent big dollars. budget movies That's have big. always been dominated by industry big names, leaving little or no room for emerging talents to showcase on big projects. Oru, a banker turned actress, expresses her reservations, even if she understands that producers go for the big names because of their marketing and promotional values. Please tell us what attracted you to your husband his personality and good nature. I see. I never knew rapists are good natured people. Why? Isn't that what you're calling your husband now? A rapist? My husband is not a rapist. What I mean is... That's not another word. I have my answer. My husband is not a rapist. Six years after testing the waters with different roles, she decided to take it a notch higher by trying out her hands in production. She made the short film, Three Faces in France, which surprisingly got admitted into the African International Film Festival in 2019. This matter or this subject is very dicey because um, I have produced before and I know what it takes to produce. A producer would want to make their money back. So it's, 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 um, it's a bit here and there. I would not totally say it's a bad thing because the truth is that when you invest 20 million, 50 million into your movie, you need to make those monies back. You need to pay your investors back. And how do you do that most times? You cast people that are bankable, people that would, you know, sell those films for you, that they have loyal fans that would say, you know what, I'm going to watch these films. But I would always say it is good to have a mix. 
in as much as you put this a list which is very okay in the in the middle here and there you put in other actors i would tell them you never laid hand on me while coming out your chest I want you not only as my protector. I'm looking forward to roles that are that are different, roles that are, that will push me. Maybe a biopic, maybe acting like someone who was influential and just telling the story. As per production, yes, I'm hoping that in the future I would go back to producing my own films, making my own films, telling the stories that I want to tell, right? And making as much impact that I want to make in life. Amanda so, is featuring now, in some upcoming movies and TV series later this year. Okewa, who did nothing, is locked up in the stockade. Well, this beast is rewarded with the future of ruling this kingdom. You are destroying everything our ancestors built. Everything! You are just as foolish as your mother, Idolo. 